Central Stratford Hall. Today I'm standing in the Lee's dining room, and this space would have been another public area inside the household that the family used while entertaining guests. Food represented wealth and sophistication, and it was in dining rooms like this one that Virginia became known for its hospitality and as a place of feasting during the 1700s and 1800s. Just imagine the elaborate multi-course meals that would have been served in this space. Stews made from fresh oysters, dressed crabs, local fish, wild game, meat pies, jellies, puddings, and tons of imported spirits from all over the world. Here in this room is where the hard work and culinary skills of Caesar the enslaved cook were put on display and the Lees would lavish their guests with more food and drink than any family member or friend could possibly consume. What you see represented here today is the dining room of Henry Lee IV, dating to about 1817. Henry was the half-brother of Robert E. Lee, and he inherited Stratford Hall from his mother. However, he wouldn't take ownership of the property until 1810 after his father, Lightworks Harry Lee, and his stepmother, Ann Hill Carter, moved to Alexandria. The portrait above the fireplace is of Henry's wife, Ann McCarty Lee. She lived here from 1817 until 1822, and was the last Lee lady in residence here at Stratford Hall. In this room, the furnishings of both the dining room and the service alcove are called Empire Style which was very popular in the early 19th century. Empire-style furniture focuses heavily on Greek and Roman elements, such as the gilded columns on the sideboard or the curving back legs to the dining room chairs. The green paint you see in this room is the same expensive verdigris paint that was seen in the drawing room. And the grid paint on the walls is called distemper. Distemper paint was made by combining hide glue, typically from rabbit or cattle, with chalk and other pigments. Thank you for joining me on this tour today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please be on the lookout for more videos to come.